Hi, this is Tyler Disney from Integral Group Oakland. Um, and in this video, I'm going to quickly show how to use the interference checker in Revit, um, otherwise known as clash detection. Um, so what I've got here is I've got a 3D view that I've set up uh, to make this process easier. Um, all I am showing is ducts and ceiling. So in my visibility settings, I have ceilings and ducts visible. Everything else is turned off and my Revit links are set to by host view. So now I'm going to go to uh, the collaborate tab, interference check, and say run interference check. Um, and then you have, uh, you select the categories here that you're going to check. So in my current project, I'm going to clash ducks and actually just ducks. And from the arc link, I'm going to clash ceilings. Just hit OK. And this big old report is generated with all these different clashes. So scroll down, you can see it's a pretty long list. Um, now the cool thing is, is if I click on a row here, it highlights in the model. So, so what's going on is this ceiling is clashing with this duct, right? And so I, I click on the next one, and now it's this duct. And if you just use the down key, you can just scroll through all the clashes. And it's pretty easy in the 3D view to see what's going on. So just hold down the down arrow, and you get an idea of what's going on in your model. Now, of course, you know, there's probably something like several hundred or maybe even a thousand or more clashes in this, and this is a pretty simple model. But, for example, there's probably something like 20 clashes associated with this, and all I have to do is pick up, you know, the duct, which is a pretty quick operation, and I've taken 20 out, and, and same thing here. So it's not so much a thousand clashes that I've got, it's, it's more like, I don't know, maybe 50 areas of, of clashing that I've, that I've got to deal with. So um, this gives you a quick um, idea of what's going on in your model. You can run through um, and look at uh, what's clashing with what, and then have an idea of what you need to do to coordinate your model. That's it. Thanks.